So friends, today we will discuss Riemann integration part 2. Integrability test for of the Dirichlet function. A Dirichlet function is defined by fx equal to 1 when x is rational equal to 0 when x is irrational. That is r minus q is complement. I have discussed in rational number and irrational number elaborately in my other uh, topic. You can watch my other uh, video. We put that f does not belong to r a b. This means that f is not Riemann integrable. As we have discussed in the Riemann integration part 1, I have to follow the scheme fit slur f i p s l u r. So if we follow this argument, if we follow this scheme, I can able to solve the problem that it belongs to, uh, doesn't belong to R A B very systematically. What is F I? F I is function and interval. Function here F X is very well defined function and it is defined on 0 and 1. It is bounded on 0 and 1. In fact, its maximum value is 1 and minimum value is 0. If we want to give the geometry of the problem, I can't give the geometry of the problem because uh, we cannot segregate the rational number and irrational number in the x-axis. So it is very difficult to draw 1 and zeros. the value of the function is 1. In fact, the Dirichlet function is nowhere continuous. It is not continuous between 0 and 1 and intermediate point. What is P here? P is partition, partition of 0, 1 with partition into n sub intervals by means of partition points xi where 0 equal to x0 less than x1 less than x2 dot 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 less than xr minus 1 less than xr less than xn equal to b. We denote script p01 set of all partitions p with n sub intervals. s I have discussed s is a sub interval is ir equal to xr minus 1 comma xr we define this as r sub interval its magnitude is denoted by xr minus xr minus 1 this mod ir and non p as we have defined this is maximum ir for r equal to 1 to n what is l l is the lower part we we find define all the lower segments of the Riemann integration that is m equal to Integration uh, inf uh, infimum of fx 0 to uh, in the interval whole interval 0 to 1 that is 0 mr equal to fx x belongs to ir x belongs to ir x belongs to ir that is also equal to 0 this means that every interval every sub interval containing these two points xr xr minus 1 and xr it, con it contains rational number as well as irrational number since we are considering the infimum values in the interval so it should be 0 for all all r are equal to 1 to up to n. So LPF, LPF is what the lower sum of the function f with respect to the partition p of the interval 0, 1. This is by definition r equal to 1 to n, mr mod ir equal to 0 and i equal to integration 0 to 1 that is the lower integration fx dx is the lower bar fx dx. It is defined as supremum LPF such that P belongs to P01 that is the set of all partitions set of all partitions of 0 1 into n sub intervals into n sub intervals since it is 0 for all partitions so i equal to 0 what is u m equal to we define supremum uh, we, we, we have supremum since the interval contains uh, rational and irrational points the supremum value is 1 capital MR equal to 1 in the interval IR UPF is equal to R equal to 1 to N MR into mod IR that is equal to summation R equal to 1 to N 1 into XR minus 1 so if we sum up we will obtain X, XN minus X0 that is equal to 1 1 minus 0 equal to 1 so J equal to the upper integration is equal to infimum of UPF such that P belongs to script PR that is set of all partitions of K of 0 1 with N sub interval that is equal to 1 so what is R over here? As our definition, I equal to I not equal to J, the Riemann integrability. 
So F does not belong to R01. So in the digit function is very important function. I cannot give the graph of the function, but I find that this is not remediable. I think we have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.